Dear listeners, tonight I beckon you to step into a realm of dreams where ancient castles stand tall against mist-covered mountains and every shadow holds a story. Relax, close your eyes, and let the tale whisk you away to the mystical Scottish highlands where the whispers of a ghostly princess echo through the halls of an old enchanted castle. Prepare to be enchanted as we journey together through a world of love, loss, and the timeless power of forgiveness, unraveling secrets that have bound a spirit in sorrow for centuries. The Ghost of the Scottish Castle Unlocking the Highland Mystery in the heart of the Scottish Highlands, where the land rolls and dips in a seemingly endless tapestry of green and gray, an ancient castle stood as a sentinel of history. The castle, with its towering spires and thick stone walls, had been a fixture in the landscape for centuries. Its presence was imposing a reminder of the days when knights and nobility roamed its halls. The structure was weathered by time, yet it retained an air of majesty and mystery that captivated all who beheld it. The mountains surrounding the castle were often shrouded in mist, giving the entire scene an ethereal quality. The mist clung to the castle's turrets, swirling around them like ghostly fingers. Local villagers spoke in hushed tones about the castle's haunted nature, weaving tales of the ghostly princess who wandered its corridors. According to legend, her sorrowful whispers could be heard on the wind, a mournful melody that sent shivers down the spines of those who dared to listen. Fiona, a young woman of remarkable bravery and curiosity, had been enchanted by these stories since childhood. Growing up in a nearby village, she had spent countless nights huddled by the fire, listening to the elders recount their eerie encounters with the supernatural. These tales, filled with both fear and fascination, had ignited a burning desire within her to uncover the truth behind the legends. Fiona was not easily deterred by the unknown. Her courage was matched only by her relentless curiosity. She often ventured into the woods alone, exploring the hidden paths and discovering the secrets of the land. It was this same spirit of adventure that now drew her to the ancient castle. She felt a connection to it, a pull that she could not ignore. Determined to discover the truth behind the ghostly whispers, she prepared for her journey with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. The day she set out for the castle was overcast, the sky a blanket of gray clouds that promised rain. Fiona dressed warmly, pulling on a thick woolen cloak and sturdy boots. She packed a small bag with essentials, a lantern, a flask of water, some bread and cheese, and a notebook to record her findings. Her heart pounded with anticipation as she took her first steps towards the castle, the path ahead both familiar and foreboding. As Fiona walked, the landscape around her changed subtly. The rolling hills gave way to rocky outcrops and dense forests. The air grew cooler and the mist thicker, wrapping around her like a cold embrace. She could see the outline of the castle in the distance, its silhouette dark against the pale sky. The closer she got, 
the more she could feel the weight of history pressing down on her. The castle loomed larger with each step, its ancient walls holding secrets untold. Reaching the castle gates, Fiona paused to catch her breath. The massive wooden doors, reinforced with iron bands, stood slightly ajar. She pushed them open with a creak that echoed through the still air, stepping into the courtyard. The silence was almost oppressive, broken only by the soft rustle of leaves and the distant call of a bird. The castle seemed deserted, yet Fiona felt the unmistakable sensation of being watched. She made her way through the courtyard, her footsteps echoing on the cobblestone path. The castle's facade was even more impressive up close, its stonework intricate and weathered by time. She paused to admire the craftsmanship, tracing her fingers over the carvings that adorned the entrance. Taking a deep breath, she stepped through the arched doorway and into the shadowy interior. Inside, the castle was a maze of corridors and chambers, each more mysterious than the last. Dust motes danced in the beams of light that filtered through the narrow windows, and the air was thick with the scent of age and decay. Fiona felt a chill run down her spine as she ventured deeper into the castle. The silence was occasionally punctuated by the faintest of whispers, so soft that she wondered if they were real or just a figment of her imagination. Despite the eerie atmosphere, Fiona pressed on, her determination unwavering. She explored each room methodically, noting the remnants of a once grand past. Faded tapestries, broken furniture, and the occasional glint of something precious hidden in the shadows. The castle, though abandoned, felt alive with memories and echoes of its former inhabitants. As Fiona continued her exploration, she couldn't shake the feeling that the ghostly princess was close, her presence lingering just beyond the edge of perception. The legends spoke of sorrowful whispers, and now, in the quiet solitude of the castle, Fiona began to hear them too. The whispers were faint, carried on the cold draft that swept through the halls. They seemed to beckon her, urging her to uncover the secrets hidden within the castle's ancient walls. With each step, Fiona felt more connected to the castle and its spectral inhabitant. She knew that her journey was only beginning and that the answer she sought lay deeper within the shadowy corridors. Gathering her courage, she pressed on, ready to face whatever mysteries awaited her in the heart of the haunted castle. The mood grew more ominous as Fiona continued to explore the castle's maze-like corridors. She felt as though the walls were closing in around her, and the cold stone beneath her feet gave her the chills. Her sense of loneliness was increased by the way the great nothingness echoed every step she took. She felt the cold snap through her cozy cloak, sending shivers down her spine. Her lantern's wavering light created unsettling shadows on the walls that gave the impression of movement when none existed. The deeper she went, the more palpable the sense of dread became. It was as if the very stones of the castle were imbued with sorrow and regret. Fiona could feel a presence, an unseen entity watching her every move. It was a feeling that gnawed at the edges
stages of her consciousness, making her hyper-aware of every creak and whisper of the old building. Her heart pounded in her chest, but she pressed on, driven by an unyielding curiosity and a desire to uncover the truth behind the legends. Suddenly, without warning, the temperature dropped sharply. Fiona's breath became visible in the frigid air, and she instinctively drew her cloak tighter around herself. She paused, scanning the hallway for any sign of movement. It was then that she noticed a faint, shimmering light emerging from the darkness ahead. The light grew brighter, coalescing into the form of a ghostly figure. Before her stood a beautiful princess, her form translucent and ethereal. The ghostly princess wore a flowing gown that seemed to be made of mist, and her long hair cascaded down her back like a waterfall of moonlight. Despite her otherworldly beauty, her expression was one of profound sorrow. Her eyes filled with a haunting sadness that seemed to pierce Fiona's very soul. Who are you? Fiona asked, her voice steady despite the eerie surroundings. She was determined not to let fear overwhelm her. After all, she had come to the castle seeking answers, and now she stood face to face with the very spirit she had heard so much about. The ghostly princess regarded Fiona with a mixture of curiosity and melancholy. I am Elspeth, she replied, her voice soft and echoing as if carried on a distant wind. I was once the beloved princess of this castle many centuries ago, but I am now trapped here, a restless spirit unable to find peace. Fiona's heart went out to the spectral princess. Trapped? Why? What happened to you? She asked, stepping closer, her initial fear giving way to empathy and a desire to help. Elspeth sighed, the sound filled with a deep, abiding regret. It was a mistake, she said, her gaze drifting as if seeing events long past. A mistake that has bound my spirit to this castle for all eternity. I was young and in love, but my actions led to tragedy. Because of that, I'm cursed to wander these halls, reliving my sorrow over and over. Fiona listened intently her mind racing with questions. She wanted to know more about Elspeth's story, to understand the nature of her curse. But more than that, she felt a growing determination to help the princess find the peace she so desperately sought. Is there any way to break the curse? She asked, her voice filled with resolve. Elspeth's eyes met Fiona's, and for a moment, a glimmer of hope seemed to flicker in their depths. Perhaps, she said slowly, but it is not a simple task. To break the curse, one must understand the nature of the mistake and find a way to make amends. It requires courage, compassion, and the willingness to face great danger. Fiona nodded her resolve hardening. She had come to the castle seeking answers, but now she had found a purpose far greater than she had imagined. She was determined to help Elspeth find the peace she deserved, no matter what challenges lay ahead. I will help you, she said firmly. Together, we will find a way to break this curse. Elspeth smiled, a faint, but genuine expression of gratitude. Thank you, Fiona, she said softly. Your kindness and bravery give me hope. Let us begin our journey together, and may we find the answers we seek. 
That being said, the spectral princess led Fiona further inside the castle, their footfall resonating as they walked into the unknown. The darkness seemed to move away from them, as if in reaction to their resolve, and the air around them seemed to buzz with a new intensity. Fiona was aware of the difficulties that lay ahead, but she was also filled with a sense of purpose and resolution that fortified her will. With a heavy heart, she knew that whatever lay ahead would be worth it to free herself from the long-forgotten curse. As Elspeth got ready to share her heartbreaking tale, her ethereal form appeared to waver and fade. Fiona caught her sympathetic glance. Her eyes held a melancholy depth that suggested generations of remorse. Elspeth took a deep breath and started telling her story, as if she was drawing strength from the air itself. Elspeth began. I was once the young and spirited princess of this castle, her voice resonating through the deserted hallways with a melancholy tune. My life was filled with the luxuries and expectations of royalty, but my heart was captivated by a love that defied those boundaries. Elspeth's face softened as she spoke of her beloved. He was a nobleman from a rival clan, handsome and brave, with a kind heart that saw beyond the petty feuds of our families. We met by chance during a rare moment of peace between our clans. It was as if fate itself had woven our paths together. His name was Aiden. Fiona listened intently, picturing the clandestine meetings and whispered promises of the young lovers. Elspeth continued, her voice tinged with a mixture of joy and sorrow. We fell deeply in love, despite knowing the consequences. Our love was a beacon of hope for a future free from the hatred that had plagued our families for generations. We dreamt of uniting our clans and bringing an end to the bloodshed. The princess's face darkened as she recalled the turning point in her story. We planned to elope, to escape the confines of our family's expectations, and start anew in a distant land where our love could flourish without fear. But secrets, no matter how carefully kept, have a way of coming to light. Elspeth's voice wavered and Fiona could see the pain of remembrance etched across her ghostly features. On the night of our planned escape, as I waited for Aiden in the moonlit garden, we were discovered. My father, a stern and unforgiving man, had somehow learned of our intentions. He confronted Aiden, and in the chaos that ensued, my beloved was struck down before my very eyes. Tears, glistening like dew on a cobweb, formed in Elspeth's eyes. I was heartbroken, consumed by a grief so profound that it felt like a physical wound. My father's rage and my own despair were unbearable. That night, in a moment of utter hopelessness, I took my own life, unable to bear the weight of my loss. Elspeth's form flickered, the pain of her final moments radiating through her spectral presence. As punishment for my transgressions, for defying my family, for loving across enemy lines, and for ending my own life, my spirit was bound to this castle. I have wandered these halls ever since, trapped in a cycle of sorrow and regret. Fiona was really missing Elspeth. The princess's story of love and grief served as a moving reminder 
of the brittleness of happiness and the costly consequences of enmity and unforgiveness. Fiona stretched out, her fingers slipping through Elspeth's spectral form, but expressing her empathy nonetheless. Her eyes welled with tears. Elspeth, your love was brave and pure, Fiona murmured quietly, her voice full of compassion. Desiring to be with the person you love was not a bad thing. I truly apologize for what transpired between Aiden and you. Elspeth gave a small, sad smile. Thank you, Fiona. Your kindness is a balm to my weary soul. For centuries, I have been trapped in this endless cycle of grief, unable to find peace. I regret the pain my actions caused, but I also mourn the love that was taken from me so cruelly. The spectral princess's gaze turned wistful, as if she could see beyond the walls of the castle into the distant past. Aiden and I believed that love could conquer all, that it could heal the wounds of hatred and division. But our dreams were shattered by the harsh realities of our world. Fiona nodded, her resolve strengthening. Your story deserves to be remembered, Elspeth. And your spirit deserves to find peace. I will do whatever I can to help you break this curse, to free you from this eternal sorrow. Elspeth's eyes, though filled with centuries of sadness, now held a glimmer of hope. Thank you, Fiona. Your willingness to help means more to me than words can express. Together, perhaps we can find a way to break this cycle and allow my spirit to finally rest. Moved by Elspeth's tale, Fiona stood in the grand hall of the castle, her mind racing with the weight of the story she had just heard. The ghostly princess's sorrow had pierced her heart, and Fiona realized that the only way to free Elspeth was through the power of forgiveness. She knew that this journey was not just about uncovering the past, but about healing it. Elspeth, Fiona began gently, her voice steady with resolve. I believe the key to freeing you from this curse lies in forgiveness. You need to forgive yourself for the mistakes you made and seek forgiveness from those you wronged. Elspeth's spectral form wavered, uncertainty clouding her sorrowful eyes. Forgiveness. How can I ask for forgiveness when my actions led to so much pain and loss? Fiona stepped closer, her gaze unwavering. We all make mistakes, Elspeth, but holding on to the guilt and regret only keeps you trapped. It's time to let go of the past and find peace. You deserve that. Elspeth looked at Fiona, her expression a mixture of hope and fear. But how? How do I even begin to forgive myself? Fiona took a deep breath, thinking about the best way to help the princess. We need to perform a ritual, a heartfelt act of contrition and forgiveness. We will invoke the spirits of those you feel you have wronged and ask for their mercy. It's a symbolic gesture but it's also a powerful one. With newfound determination, Fiona and Elspeth set to work, preparing for the ritual. They gathered in the castle's chapel, a once sacred space now overrun with cobwebs and shadows. Fiona cleaned the altar, lighting candles that cast a warm, flickering glow in the dimness. Elspeth watched her form glowing faintly in the candlelight, her eyes filled with a blend of anticipation and trepidation. Fiona placed a bowl of water on the altar, 
symbolizing purity and renewal. She found a bundle of dried herbs in a forgotten corner of the chapel and lit them, letting the fragrant smoke curl upwards, cleansing the air and creating an atmosphere of solemnity. She then opened her notebook, reading aloud the words of the ritual she had crafted, her voice steady and clear. Spirits of the past, we call upon you, Fiona intoned, her voice echoing in the stillness. We seek your forgiveness and your mercy. Hear us now as we open our hearts and ask for your blessing. Elspeth stood beside her, trembling slightly. Fiona took her hand, offering a reassuring squeeze. Elspeth, speak your truth. Ask for the forgiveness you need. The ghostly princess closed her eyes, her voice barely more than a whisper. Aiden, my beloved. I am so sorry for the pain my actions caused. Father, I ask for your forgiveness for defying you. I beg for mercy from all who suffered because of my choices. I seek your understanding and your forgiveness so that I may find peace and move on from this place. As Elspeth spoke, the air around them seemed to grow warmer the oppressive weight of sorrow lifting slightly. Fiona continued the ritual, guiding Elspeth through each step, each word a balm for the princess's weary soul. They poured their hearts into the ritual, their sincerity and hope weaving a powerful spell of forgiveness and release. As the final words of the ritual were spoken, a warm light began to envelop Elspeth. The glow grew brighter, suffusing her form with a gentle radiance that seemed to chase away the shadows clinging to her. Her sorrowful expression softened, replaced by one of peace and gratitude. Thank you, Fiona, Elspeth said, her voice filled with genuine relief. You have given me a gift beyond measure. I can feel the weight lifting, the sorrow dissipating. I am finally free. With a final, grateful smile, Elspeth's form began to fade, the light intensifying until it was almost blinding. Fiona watched, tears in her eyes, as the ghostly princess vanished, her spirit finally at rest. The light slowly dimmed, leaving Fiona standing alone in the chapel, the candles flickering softly in the newfound stillness. Fiona left the castle with a profound sense of accomplishment and a deeper understanding of the power of forgiveness. She had come seeking answers to an ancient mystery, but she had found something far more valuable. The realization that forgiveness and compassion have the power to heal even the deepest wounds. As she walked away from the castle, she felt a lightness in her step, knowing that she had helped to bring peace to a troubled soul and had learned an invaluable lesson about the strength of the human spirit. Dear listeners, may your dreams be filled with whispers of ancient legends and your heart with the courage of Fiona. Good night, and may you sleep peacefully, knowing that even the deepest sorrows can find peace. Until we meet again for another enchanting adventure, rest well.